So finally after 2 weeks and 2 days since the release of watchOS 9 developer beta 2, we now have a brand new update that we can update our Apple Watch devices to and as you can see here, this is watchOS 9 beta 3. It comes to developer beta testers today and in this video I'm going to be showing you what's new with this update and all there is to know when you update to watchOS 9 beta 3. My name is Ben and this is Half Man Half Tech. So first things first, as you can see here on my Apple Watch Series 7, the update size came in at exactly 347 megabytes and I was updating from watchOS 9 Beta 2. And obviously, this is not all that Apple released today. In fact, if we go to the Apple developer page, you'll see that there's a number of updates that came out, including iOS 16 Beta 3, iPadOS 16 Beta 3, MacOS 13 Beta 3, and of course, WatchOS 9 Beta 3. This is the video for that. And you can see that they also released tvOS 16 beta 3. Now most of these updates I actually do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if you want to get to know your device better and know what's new with all the new software updates that Apple releases, then definitely do subscribe so that you stay up to date. Now also I wanted to give you an update when it comes to when we could see the public beta released for this watchOS 9 updates. Now Apple basically said at their WWDC event that we were going to be seeing the public betas being released in the month of July. And as you can see, today being July 6th, we have the developer beta of WatchOS 9 Beta 3. At the time I'm recording this video, it's only available to developer beta testers. And for public beta testers, I highly anticipate that this update could be released perhaps tomorrow on the 7th of July. If not, then we can sort of anticipate it to see somewhere between the 11th of July to the 14th of July. So if you're looking forward to updating, then do let me know. I could be able to make a video for you to show you how you can update best to WatchOS 9 public beta. Now, in terms of what are the software updates when it comes to this Apple Watch, let me just show you here that I just updated. As you can see here, update has just completed. That was about two hours ago and your Apple Watch is now up to date and ready to go. So if we go into the settings of my Apple Watch and go to the about, you can see that we have a brand new build number. And as you can see here, it's 20R5316F. So this build number now has an F at the end and in terms of stability this is quite good because it takes two steps in the positive. Before that on WatchOS 9 Beta 2 we had a build number that was 20R5307H. So we went, we went from an H to an F which is something that's great. Now I, get, I keep getting these requests like you know what do I need to be able to update to WatchOS 9 and as an update for you. For you to be able to update to watchOS 9 you need an Apple Watch Series 4 and newer and you also need to have an iPhone that supports iOS 15 that is iPhone 8 or newer and then you'll be able to update to watchOS 9. When the public beta comes out those are the devices too that will be required for you to be able to update and enjoy this update that is watchOS 9. Now in terms of the new features and changes that I hear with watchOS 9 I do have quite a few that I want to share with you and the first one has to do with the new watch faces. So with watchOS 9 you can see that you know Apple did release quite a number of new watch faces and I want to show you the one that is called astronomy here as there have been updates with watchOS 9 beta 3. So when you click on it you can see here that it's actually now been updated to show my current location by means of the green dot that you see there in random view. Before with a previous beta I had to be in full view in order for me to see my current location that is depicted by the full dot. So uh, this is something that has been updated and I also noticed that it's updating more rapidly and more often than what was happening before on the previous beta. That is something that's good and when it comes to basically 
AFib or ECG and heart measurements, I will be happy to let you know that Apple has now fulfilled their promise of giving us AFib history. So this is something that you need to see or you'll be able to see if you go on your iPhone and open up your health app and go to the browse section on the bottom right. And if you go to the heart section right there, you will see, you know, parameters for your heart rate. But right here, you will see that we now have the section that says AFib history. And if you click on AFib history, you notice that it says AFib history. If you have arterial fibrillation AFib, your Apple Watch can help you understand how often your heart was beating irregularly. So that is something that's new. We saw this being demonstrated at WWDC and it's a good thing that now Apple has decided to add this with watchOS 9 beta 3. Now also continuing with the new features and changes that came with watchOS 9 beta 3, there is a new change and for this I actually have to thank my friend Zolotech over on YouTube. So this is my friend Aaron and he was the first person to point this out and it has to do with what you see when you lock your iPhone and you connect your device to a charger. So basically you can see the battery icon for my apple watch when it's not connected to a charger and you can see that my watch is basically on 89 percent but if i take my apple watch charger and connect it to a power source like this you notice that it begins to charge and now you can see that on the iphone on the lock screen it's also updating in real time and has the power or the lightning besides the percentage which is a good time a good real time update for those that charge their devices and want to know the progress on their iphone you might not you do not always have to wear your device on your watch for it to update but for this video this is how i'm just demonstrating that apple has now updated this way the status also shows that it's charging so that's something that's great also, this is something that I notice is new with WatchOS 9. If you hold or you activate Siri, either using voice prompts or manual, like I'm doing here, who owns Shazam? Here's what I found from web app. Shazam is an application owned and developed by Apple Incorporated. Okay, so basically you can see that it's the typical Siri that shows up and you can see that it's saying that Shazam is owned and developed by Apple. So since Shazam is a music detection application, now look what happened when I use this or when I use Siri to tell me what song is playing. What's the current song playing? Listening. Okay, so basically you can see that now with watchOS 9, before on beta 2 and beta 1, it was the typical Siri that you would see telling you or listening to Sorry, the song that's uh, actually playing. But as an update for you, you can see that now when you use Siri to detect the song that's playing, Siri has now been updated to use Shazam. And then this is not just an update that's there on the Apple Watch. And this is also something that you will see on the iPhone when you use Siri to try and detect like a song that or a music video sound that's playing in the background so that is th that is something that's good also there is an update that i saw at some point i couldn't replicate it since it was sort of random and it has to do with time to wash your hands and basically there was a pop-up that came on my apple watch that said now that you are home it's a good idea to wash your hands and it was the first time i was seeing it on watch os 9 and i I think it could have been there from watchOS 9 beta 3 or beta 2 rather but it's something that you can always check out if you have your home set in your maps but that's something that's good as a reminder since it's a good hygiene practice to wash your hands when you get home now other than that that's about it for me when it comes to watch os 9 beta 3 let me know whether there are any new features or changes that you managed to find with this update and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace